Hi everyone, for my vlog today, I'm going to be talking about these four limited edition brushes from Sonia G, her Tradition Select Brushes. So I was actually very surprised when I read news about this that was going to be released because um, it was very unexpected and it was a little bit late in the season, if you know what I mean. And of course, I'm also like, you know, um, experiencing some whiplash from all the foodie releases that has been happening since December. And I can't believe that even up until like, you know, the first um, quarter of 2020, we still have new limited edition brushes that are being released but like you know if you're a foodie enthusiast or if you just love makeup brushes handmade makeup brushes from Kumano then like you know this is actually much appreciated and this is actually quite special because these four brushes they are all made of squirrel hair fibers so um, like you know that makes it very luxurious that also makes it very limited and like you know if you have sensitive eyes this is actually a great set to have for you in theory okay so today we'll be talking about this in detail we'll be checking this out and also we'll be um comparing this to other brushes that i have in my collection and seeing what i have here on my table it's usually to other sonia g brushes okay and of course we'll be trying this out so that we can see how well it performs with us today okay so the traditional select brushes comes in four pieces and they all sport the kiyaki wood as handles and you have matte black ferrules here which is very similar to the holiday trio that was released back in 2022 and to the kakishibo brushes that she just also recently released so they're very similar in aesthetic okay now of the four brushes that we have here we only have one that actually has a full head of squirrel and it's actually this ts4 brush wherein you have this full head of yellow canadian squirrel now the other brushes on the other hand have mixed undyed psychoho goat hair namely the ts2 here has a mix of undyed psychoho goat hair and gray squirrel and these two brushes the ts1 and the ts3 has a mix of undyed psychoho goat hair and white canadian squirrel so that's actually very interesting to me why we only have one brush here which has a full head of squirrel um, mainly because if i'm going to get the holiday trio from 2022 all of the brush heads here actually is made of 100 percent um squirrel so um i don't know why like you know some of these brushes are mixed uh but maybe that has something to do with like you know adding some resiliency into the brush head or even like you know scarcity of materials but i actually kind of like the fact that these three brushes are actually mixed because they just add more strength into the belly of each of the brush here and like you know it just makes it more resilient because after all we all know right now that brush heads made of squirrel is actually not very resilient okay first brush that i'm going to be talking about is of course the ts1 brush and this is actually the smudger brush in this set so as you guys can see the brush head here is actually very soft but it actually also snaps back into position quite nicely and I can feel like a strength in the core of this brush head which is actually good in my book because after all it's a smudger brush so you need some strength in a smudger brush to be able to buff out like you know um, eyeliners or even like eyeshadow on your lash line now I do have to say that the um, hairs here feel very silky and they feel very smooth so for sure this will actually feel very comfortable to use on your lash line especially if you are someone who has like you know very sensitive eyelids now i do have to say that this brush actually reminds me of the t1 brush from the kakishibu set that sonia just recently released but there's just a slight difference in the brush head design wherein the t1 here actually has a much more square brush head design while the ts1 here is a little bit rounded here at the edges of the bristles and if we just put them to the side we can see that ts1 here actually tapers into a much more finer point while t1 here is actually rounder and fuller so um in just like showing you guys this i know that in theory the t1 here will actually pick up more pigment and it will actually deliver more pigment into the lash line and this will actually have more like you know smudging ability because of course this is like you know made of psycho goat hair which is actually dyed so it's stronger and of course because of the uh, like you know thickness here at the tips of the bristles while the 
TS1, on the other hand, because of the very thin nature of the tips of the bristle here, you'll still be able to pick up like you know a substantial amount of pigment and also to deliver it, but like you know, it doesn't have that much buffing ability. But what I like about this brush head design is that because of this very thin tip here, you're actually able to apply the color as close to your lash line as possible without irritating your lash line. So this is actually very good in my book. Okay, so that is the TS1 brush. And the next brush is the TS2 brush. And just looking at the brush head design of this, this actually looks to be like a very traditional brush head design, wherein it's actually good to use to actually pick up color, to lay it down, to buff it down, and also to build it. So it's almost like a builder brush to a certain degree. But if you put it to the side here, as you guys can see, the belly is not that full. And we have this, like, you know, tapered uh, brush head design here as it nears the tips. And which is actually kind of great because you can, like, really use this brush to add color in a very specific, like, you know, area of the eyelid. Like, you know, in the inner corners or even, like, you know, in the outer corners or, like, you know, just at the area of the eyelid where it meets the crease or the socket line so you can actually like you know really use this and like you know um, again it's very silky it's very soft and I love the way that it just like you know snaps back into position quite nicely and that's one thing that I appreciate about having like you no know, psycho goat hairs inside a brush head because it just makes it more resilient and if I'm just tapping my finger here on the bristles can you guys you guys can see how strong the core is of that brush so at least we know that this has like you know enough strength to actually like you know be a worker brush of sorts as well again no prickling sensation very smooth and very silky so as you guys can see the brush design is again very traditional and it looks to be like a builder brush and it's actually quite similar to the t2 brush that sonya g released from her kakishibu set as well if you put it to the side, as you guys can see, you have a much more fuller belly on the T2 here. So the T2 will pick up more pigment and more product in comparison to the TS2 brush. But I'm sure you can use this to actually build color, okay? And both are very soft, despite, like, you know, the difference in material. And I believe you can use these two brushes together, like, you know, to create, like, you know, the eyeshadow look that you actually want. So um, just for comparison, I have here another builder brush. As you guys can see, these three brushes, you know, they look very squarish in shape. Look at that. So this is from the Lotus series of Sonya G. So it's just a little bit wider than the TS2 brush here, as you guys can see. But at least it gives you an idea of actually what this, like, you know, brush head can actually do for you. Look at that. Okay. So I'm actually quite excited to try this out a little bit later in the video. Okay. Now this brush here is the TS3 brush. And if we take a look at the brush head design here, it looks to be like a brush that can actually use to blend color into the eyelid or to apply color into the crease of the eye. Now I know that the brush head design here doesn't look like a typical, like, you know, blending brush design, but I believe this is the perfect brush head design for this because of the different kinds of fiber of hair that is actually used in creating the brush head because of course like you know it's very soft it's very silky so if you bundle it in such a way that it looks like a pencil brush it gives you more ability to be actually like you know um, specific and precise with your application but it's actually also enabling you to actually blend out and to buff out colors so um, it's very similar actually to the previous um, brush that Sonia released during her holiday trio set which is actually the S3 so as you guys can see here so both are actually very soft and very silky and they move very similar to each other they snap back into position quite smoothly. And I know there are some people who's actually like, you know, troubled because if we just bend the brush head here, we can actually see that there's a little bit of a gap between the very base of the bristles and the ferrule here. But on the S3, if we also do that, we can actually see like, you know, some spacing here. So I believe that this is actually how the brush head is actually designed. And I do have to say like after been I have been using this for quite some time and it actually has kept its shape quite nicely and it actually has not like you know lost a lot of fiber on its brush head, okay? And I believe like you know this airy portion here at the base of the brush just adds movement into the brush head so um it just like you know it doesn't limit the brush at all and i kind of like that because you're actually able to bend the brush head to its like you know maximum bendability 
but you still like you know see how well the brush head actually keeps its shape and i guess that's why you have psycho home mix here because you just have to have more strength like you know more density because after all if this is going to be like you know pure canadian squirrel it's going to be a very expensive brush to purchase okay so yeah so let me also get another brush which is very similar to this which is actually the t3 brush from the Kakishibu set that Sonia also released. But as you guys can see, the T3 here is airier at the um, like you know tips of the bristles because after all, I've been using this for quite some time. And look at the S3 here. So it's also getting a little bit airier because when I first got this, it looked like this. The bristle tips looked like this. But again, like you know, I can actually feel the strength at the core of this brush head, which I'm actually very grateful for. So I'm sure this will apply like in you know, those softly defined eye looks on the eyelid. Yeah, so this is how the like you know TS3 compares to the T3 and to the S3. And the final brush on the set is actually the TS4 brush, which is a pencil brush of sorts. But I think the bristles here is just a little bit longer than like you know usual. And for example, I have here the, where is that? Okay, so this is the Pencil Pro of Sonia G. And if we just put them side by side, you guys can see on how long the bristles are of the TS4 in comparison to the Pencil Pro here. And you also have a tip here, which is actually great. So you can actually use this to add more definition, like, you know, soft definition on the eyelid, may it be on the socket line or in the outer V portion or even on the lash line or on the lower lash line. Again, this is made of yellow Canadian squirrel, so it's actually very soft. And if you're working with someone who has very, very sensitive eyelids, this is absolutely perfect. Now, I also have here my Refer 26 brush. And if you just put them side by side, you guys can see that they almost have the same length of bristles but you just have more density on the refer 26 here so if you actually need more like you know intensity of color to pick up and to apply on the eyelid you can actually use this but if you just want something that's soft yet defined you can use the ts4 so i'm just like you know putting this uh, for comparison and also i'm sure you guys can see on like you know the very difference in softness between both of these brush heads look at that so you have more hair bundled into this brush than into this brush. But again, it's not right to compare these two because after all, this is made of goat um, hair and this is made of squirrel hair. Okay, so um, one other thing, by the way, let me get back the um, TS1 brush here. And I do have to say that the brush head design here actually reminds me of the very old Smudger 2 brush of Sonia G, wherein it actually looks like that like you know it tapers to a point here so it can actually make you more detailed so if you are someone who's a fan of Sonya G and like you know you wanted to have like you know sm the Smudger 2 brush again which has not been placed back into production for a very long time then the TS1 can, a very, can be a very nice replacement for that and like you know we, I kind of love the fact that we have like a mix of psycho hair here and like you know white Canadian squirrel because it just makes it more like you know luxurious and it just makes it more special if you know what I mean so look at that they're almost the same length and width almost the same design so there's just a very different um, density of material bundled into the brush head all right, so yeah, so that's it. So now what we're going to do is let us try these brushes and let's see how well they will actually apply and blend out and deliver color into the eyelids. Okay, so I'm just gonna scoot a little bit closer to the camera so that you guys can see my eyes. And for today, I have decided to use my Five Color Couture from Dior in Pink Coral because it's already like, you know, spring. And I just want to have like a nice pop of color on the eyes. And let's just be playful today. So anywho, so I would like to start and use the pink shade here. Tap the color here all over my eyelid as a nice one wash of color. Hmm. And by the way, I'm not using any eye base for us today. So we're just trying to see how well these brushes will actually like, you know, hold on to pigment. And I do have to say, because like, you know, this pinky shade here has some like, you know, tiny glitters in them. I'm not actually not seeing any fallout. And the brush is actually applying the color quite nicely all over my mobile lid. And then let me just add some color here into like, you know, the inner corner of my eye and I'm just like you know patting the color 
and it's actually enabling me to apply and blend out the color quite nicely here on my eyelid it's not bad at all fantastic okay so next what I'm going to do is I'm gonna use this um, light yellowish color first just pressing the brush here on the pan quite nicely and this is the TS3 uh, brush and this is the color that I'm going to apply here into my socket line you know like as a um, transition color of sorts and I'm just gonna buff that out and now I actually want to use like you know this deep shade here this plum plumish color like you know not nice violety color and as you guys can see the brush head actually picked up the color right smack in the middle of it and this is where this brush it actually has some strength so I'm just going to apply this here into my socket line ever so gently oh look at that it's actually applying a very nice soft color already and I'm just gonna use windshield wiper motions to blend it and to buff it out Ooh. okay that's actually great now I actually find that I'm actually able to have control with this brush head which is actually quite a surprise and I'm actually glad that there's strength at the like you know core of the brush head here because this can just really help me to blend out color and also to help me to create shape for my eye look at that I'm just like you know brushing the color lightly here into my brow area just to help me create like you know the shape that I need for my eye look at that very nice amazing okay so let me just buff out the edges right now and with the same color I'm gonna be using the smudger brush now and I'm just gonna be picking up the color here at the tips of the bristles and this is what I'm going to apply here into my upper lash line and as you guys can see, it's actually delivering the color quite nicely. Nice intensity going on. I love that. And I kind of love the fact that I'm actually able to be, like, you know, very detailed with my eyeshadow application on my upper lash line with this. And I kind of also like the fact that there's no fallout going on here on my upper cheeks. So these brushes actually hold onto the pigment quite nicely and it actually helps you to pick up the right amount of pigment that you actually need. So I'm just picking up more color here and then just adding more intensity. And just for fun, I'm going to pick up this very nice bright pink color here with the same brush and I'm going to tap that color here along the edge of this like you know violety. Um, shadow color just to add some like you know softness there and just like you know some hint of color oh, fantastic I'm gonna remove any excess eyeshadow color here at the back of my hand and I'm just going to brush that along and blend that into the light pink shimmery eyeshadow that I actually applied as a base color earlier Okay, so I actually want to intensify now the outer V portion and I'm going to be using the same like you know, violet shade and right now I am using the TS4 brush. Yep, so I'm just loading the color here onto the tips of the bristles. Remove any excess here at the back of my hand. And I'm just tapping the brush head here along the most outer portion of my outer eyelid. And as you guys can see, the brush is actually delivering a much more intense color into my socket line. But st it's still very soft. Hmm, we have a visitor in the garden. Okay, so I'm just going to continue to buff out the color and to build the shape for my eye. Ooh. Let me get more color here. And let me just tap that into the outer V portion just to make it like you know smokier and now I'm just going to angle my eye this way and then I'm just going to press the brush here and then I'm just going to sweep that into my socket line and that's already going to apply a nice soft wash of color in that portion and it's just going to add nice definition into my eyelid Mm, I love that. And with the TS3 brush, I'm just going to buff out the edges now. 
to blend out everything and to help create a lift. Again, I love the way that I'm just able to blend out color. And I love the way that the brush head here actually just like, you know, hugs my socket bone here. And it already helps to blend out the color. And it also helps to create the shape for my eye already. Look at that. Nice soft wash of color, but there's just a hint of definition. That's actually lovely. I like that. Okay, so I have now the TS2 again, and I'm just going to remove any excess color here on a microfiber towel. And I'm just going to pick up this nice yellowy tone. And this is what I'm going to use you know, as a highlight color here, just under my brow bone. Okay, so I think I need to add some more detail into this eye look. So uh, I'm going to be picking up the TS1. And this is what I'm going to use to, like, you know, just apply some detailing work. You know, I'm not picking up any more color, by the way. So whatever color is left on the brush head here, this is just what I'm going to use to, like, you know, add a very nice hint of definition here. And then I'm also going to use that to blend the color into my socket line again. Again, like, you know, just to help create the lift that I need for my eye. And then now I'm just going to mix these two colors together. And I'm just going to apply a very soft hint of color here on my lower lash line in the outer portion. And that's what I'm going to use to actually connect into my upper, like, you know, socket line here. And I'm just going to blend that into you know my upper socket line i love that i love how i'm able to actually control like you know my eyeshadow application with sonia g brushes okay and i actually want to add more definition on my upper lash line so i have this um caviar stick from laura mercier and this is in the color plum and this is what i'm going to use as a eyeliner of sorts because after all this is a cream eyeshadow and i'm just lightly tapping it here on my upper lash line and now i'm going to be getting the ts1 brush again and this is what i'm going to use to buff out that cream eyeshadow and i can actually say that it's actually enabling me to buff out that color it's also helping me to soften out the edges and again this actually feels very very comfortable to use on the um upper lash line so again if you have very sensitive eyelids and if you have trouble like you know blending out or buffing out eyeliner colors because there are some smudger brushes in the market that are just way way too strong for you i do highly suggest that you should go and run to vitalish and get this brush and now i'm gonna pick up some of this color and this color again tap off any excess here at the back of my hand and I'm just going to run that across the caviar stick just to set it and just to make it appear softer and blend it out more. Okay, so at this point, I actually want to intensify the outer V portion just a little bit. So I'm going to be picking up this violet -y shade again. Press this brush, the TS1 brush, and just lightly tap it here. just so that I have more dimension of color there. Again, very easy. Look at that. I'm just tapping the color and it's already building up intensity and also creating a nice shape for me. I love that. Okay, and I actually want to apply some mascara just so it completes this look. I'm using, again, the Lancome Lash Doll. I absolutely adore this. So this is not the um, waterproof one, but this is the Volumizing Mascara. And the brush head here actually enables me to get into, like, you know, the inner corner of my lashes. And I just love, like, you know, the kind of intensity and volume that this mascara gives into my lashes. Look at that. Okay, so I'm just going to add some concealer here in my under eye just so that we can appreciate how this eye look has turned out. And I have here my new SC4 Secret Camouflage from Laura Mercier. Finally, they restocked it here in the um, Laura Mercier Boutique. And I'm just going to apply a little bit of this here in my under eye area. And I'm just going to blend this out. And I'm using the, what is this, the T6 brush 
from the Kakishi Buset of Sonia G. And I'm actually loving how this brush is actually enabling me to apply a nice thin layer of concealer in my under eye area. And it's also enabling me to actually like, you know, spread out the product very fast as you guys can see. So if you want to know more about my experience with the uh, um, Sonia G Kakishi Buset, I'm going to put the link down on the description box to that video so you can go and check that out, okay? Alright, look at that. And just to finish out everything, I'm going to add more detailing work just to complete this eye look. Alright, so that's my vlog for today. I hope that you guys enjoyed me showing you guys how I got to know the Tradition Select brushes of Sonia G. And truthfully, like, you know, it's very easy to use them and you can be very intuitive with them. And that's what I love about Sonia G brushes because, like, you know, once you hold them, it's very automatic that you know what you can use them for. And the other thing that I love about Sonia G is that when she creates, like, you know, limited editions, they're actually a nice addition into her um, set. May it be from her, like, you know, ex collection like her Kakishibu set here and this is her holiday trios and if you just add these brushes into your collection they complement each other very very nicely and I kind of love that even with like you know her sunset cranes even if I just add it again it gives you this very nice collection of brushes and they really help you to be like you know creative with your um eyeshadow application and also it enables you to work with an array of products and if you have sensitive eyes again all of these brushes will work very well for you yeah so if you have any more questions about how I use the Tradition Select brushes from Sonia G or any other makeup products that I use today. Please let me know that in the comments box and let's have a conversation about it, okay? Now, this is available to purchase at Beautylish. You can buy this as a set and it comes with a Polonia box or you can actually purchase this individually the way that I did, okay? Yeah, so that's it for me today. So I'm gonna let you guys go now. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for being here and I hope that you're having a good day wherever you are. Bye!